We're back with some more science experiments, but this time we're using lemons. Hey Munch, did you know that lemons are very powerful fruits? Lemons are batteries, did you know that? That is absolutely impossible. No, it's not. You want to know how? How? We have to connect some wires to it. I'm calling this science experiment Lemon Power. All right, you're going to need some lemons, about four. You need some copper plates and some zinc. We have two LED lights because we're going to turn on the lights with these guys and then some wires to connect the positive and negatives. So we're going to attach the plates on each side. All right, Munch, you wanna try one? So take and feed it through. Awesome, and so we're gonna do that with the other wires. The copper is our positive, and the zinc is our negative, we attach them to the wire. And here we also attach the LED to this little wire here. Again, copper being positive and zinc being negative. Munch, now your step is to stick them into the lemon. One part of the wire goes in one lemon. Squeeze it in as much as you can. I don't know if it's too hard for you to punch a hole. And then put it in the other lemon. Make sure the wires stay. Yeah, we don't want them to move. So we'll have to do some adjustments. Good. Now we get another one. Which one is this, negative or positive? Positive. So put the negative on this side. And put the positive in the next. Move them around if you need to. All right, so we don't want these negative and positive plates to touch inside the lemon, so you gotta make sure you get the other one a little bit further away. You don't want them to touch. Remember, alternate positive and negative. If some of these wires move, it'll turn off, but we got it working. See, we didn't need batteries. We can use fruit. See, they have multiple jobs. First, what is a battery? A battery is a device that can make electricity. Electric energy in this experiment is created by the interactions of the copper and zinc strips and with the citric acid found in the lemon. The citric acid reacts with the zinc and loosens electrons. The copper pulls and moves the loosened electrons towards itself. Moving electrons are called an electric current, which creates the electricity that turns on the LED light. Hey Munch, do you remember when we used these secret agent pens to write invisible messages? Yeah. Well, I want you to write us a message on the paper. Make your letters big, but not too big. And if you're wondering, this has something to do with our science experiment today. Thank you. Now I am going to reveal his message using this flashlight. Here we go. Oh, I see a H I Hi P T C. P T C is Playtime City. So you wrote Hi Playtime City. Also, well, what if I told you this is my secret agent pen? A lemon. That's impossible. No, it's not. I'm calling this science experiment. The Sour Spy. We're going to need a blank white paper, a lemon cut in half, some Q-tips, and a little bowl to squeeze the juice in. All right, Munch, I need you to squeeze some of the lemon juice in the cup. Mm. You like two big squeezes. Well, there's a seed. That's okay. Awesome, good job. So now, what I'm going to do is use the juice from the lemon 
dip my Q-tip in it and write my message. So you have to go away and then when you come back, you're going to reveal it using an iron. Whoa. All right, guys, so as you can see, the paper's fully dried. You can't really see my message. I am going to use the iron to apply heat on the paper because we pretty much have to scorch it. Parents, this is your responsibility to do. Kids, do not do this. This is the part your parents do. Ready, Munch? Mm. Here we go. You're probably going to have to go back and forth a few times. It all depends on how hot your iron is, too. Because I didn't use the lemon juice strongly in some areas, some of the letters didn't come through, but I think much you can kind of figure out what I tried to say, right? Do you know what it says? Lemon. Lemon? Rocks. Yes, lemon rocks. Pretty cool. Well, I'll tell you how it works. Lemon juice contains cellulose. When the juice is added to paper, it lowers the paper's burning point. Here, we applied heat to our paper and saw that the area with lemon juice burned faster than the area that did not have lemon juice on it. The yellowish color of the paper revealed my message. Hey Munch, I have a balloon for you, but I want you to pop it using this lemon. You don't know how to pop it with a lemon? Well, I'ma show you how. I'm calling this science experiment the lemon pop. Boop. We need a lemon, some balloons. You can use one, but we have three here. We have a pump, simply because we don't want to use our lungs to blow up the balloons. And then we have some Sharpies so that we can draw faces on our balloons just to make it a little fun. And then we're gonna set our balloon in the cup so that it's stable when it comes time to popping it with the lemon. First step is we need to cut the lemon to get the skin of the lemon, the lemon peel, because we need the juice that's close to that part of the lemon. And then the next step, Munch, while I do that, you blow up the balloons, okay? Okay. Awesome, here you go. I'm gonna do the yellow. All right, do the yellow. All right, we have all three balloons blown up and we have our lemon peel. All right, Munch, how about we customize them with some funny faces? Let's do... Let's do this one. Awesome. Okay, it's like, This one is like he's sleepy. He's sleepy. He's a sleepy balloon. <laughs> All right, well, he won't be so sleepy when he goes pop. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Here's how we're going to pop the balloons. It's going to be loud. We're going to just squeeze over them and watch it drip. You want to do the first one? Now you do it. Which balloon you want me to do first? Let's do the green. All right, green, here we go. Woo! Which one are we doing next? Blue. Blue. Is it gonna work? Woo! Oh, oh, yeah. We did yellow instead. Blue is the last survivor. I think he knew. Here we go, Blue. Is it coming? Woo! And that's how we pop balloons with lemons. Awesome, right, Munch? Yeah. The balloon is made out of latex, a polymer material. The lemon peel contains limonene, which is an organic solvent. What is an organic solvent? It is a substance that breaks down or dissolves another substance. So when you squeeze the lemon peel, it releases the limonene, which lands on the balloon and dissolves the latex, causing the balloon to pop. Well, we hope you like these cool experiments. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.